Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so in this video, let's talk about Ripple. Um, it's been a while since we covered Ripple on the channel. So let's talk about Ripple. Um, let's look at the technicals. What are some of the upcoming events in Ripple? and all those good stuff all right uh, so before we get it started make sure if you're new to the channel to subscribe to the channel and hit those notification and those bell icon so you get this content right away and if you think these videos are helping you with your trading with your investing in crypto market then please do give me thumbs up that really do mean a lot all right so that being said let's get it started ripple is trading around uh, 49 cents right now and if you see that I'm looking at the Ripple to USD pair, uh, this data is coming from Kraken Exchange. Um, we are in a falling wedge pattern, uh, which is a more bullish pattern um, than a bearish. But it takes a so falling wedge is a pattern which, like you know, the price action gets like you know squeezed at the downward channel, almost like a funnel type of action, um, where it gets really squeezed and. Um, when like the the trading gets narrow it becomes like you know there's a pressure on the upward side which makes it break out toward the upward side uh, more often than not right so that is falling wedge uh, it's a more bullish pattern just like you know rising wedge it's a rising wedge is a bearish pattern uh, falling wedge is a bullish pattern all right um, so on the upward side of one of the resistance that we should be looking at is about 55 cents and I'm going to mark those level in red dotted line so I have said it previously on the video uh, the red dotted line will act as a resistance uh, the blue dotted line will act as a support all right uh, and anything that let's say if, uh, this previously it was providing us the support the 55 cents was providing us the support now going up it will act as a resistance so those are the things uh, it's pretty simple um, so we want to make sure we are keeping it simple and not trying to make it overly complicated with multiple indicators and all uh, some other like you know um, uh, techniques um, if you keep the charts if you keep the a technical analysis simple that will uh, that will serve you better because a lot of time when you try to um, put too many things in a chart it will um, give you a different or conflicting signals so that's why you want to have a pretty clean and like simple chart not to overdo yourself because that will obviously it will be more conflicting rather than helping you with your trading because like this is think of chart or TA or technical analysis as a tool to help you um, the more complex you get um, you will have conflicting signals if you keep it simple it will be much like you know it, you will understand it much better and it will be easy to follow as well all right so right now um, I come to um, coin checkup I came to CoinCheck actually and I was looking at some of the news in Ripple. Uh, one of the things that I really liked is Ripple made a largest donation of cryptocurrency to public school. I, I mean, I really, uh, I'm a big advocate of making donations to a good cause. Um, honestly, this is something that's very like personal to me. I like, um, even when I was in my early trading days in my like an early career in trading uh, whenever I had a good days or a good month I used to um, you know make donations for certain profit that I was making uh, even back then so I, that is something is really close to me and I keep on doing those things and I just feel a little bit better about like you know making those donation to be honest with you and um, it just I, I just think it's a good karma so um, and I really like support you know the projects that who try to do like this kind of you know social work and trying to help uh, and what are capabilities they have whether they're donating their time money or like coins whatever it is but helping and giving back to the society um, it's just feels it, it just makes you feel like you know um, 
a little bit better about yourself so I mean I, I I have been doing it since my early trading career since a couple of decades um, and I continue to do so and um, I mean if you are so if you you know if you have done pretty well uh, in the last couple of years in crypto market and if you're I know a lot of people who do it and um, you know so think about doing something like that you know maybe if you don't want to donate your time I mean donate money then donate your time to some good cause uh, it will just mentally it will bring you some peace and like you know make you a little bit better about feel better about yourself all right um, so that being said um, they have some events I looked on some of the events um, they're getting listed on uh, blog bid so there is a listing coming for um, verge I mean sorry um, uh, on rip uh, this ripple XV XRP um, I don't know why I was thinking about verge I was looking at it uh, just because there is a price action moving up so I was looking about it <laughs> just, just a few minutes ago anyways so um, ripple is coming on blog bid uh, on April 15th so um, there will there is going to be another exchange where uh, you will be able to trade Ripple. So that's a that's a good news and um, that's a positive news for Ripple. And that's pretty much only event that I see that's kind of worth mentioning about Ripple. Um, and there's added to Revolt. Um, so well, I need to get more information about it. I'm not sure exactly what it is, um, but the April 15th one, that's the one that um, um, should be interesting. There is another exchange that is getting getting added on. All right, uh, going back to the technicals, um, on the downward we have about um, 45 cents, which is acting as a support. Uh, then the second after that, the second support level will be around 40 cents. All right, so 45 cents and then the 40 cents. Again, I want to reiterate the fact that this breakout will really happen with the overall market conditions, right? If the overall market is breaking out, then this kind of breakout will occur, all right? And I have a feeling that you will see some kind of breakout in next 24 to 48 hours in this market. A lot of the altcoins, a lot of like even Bitcoin, um, they're coming to that coming to that junction where it will there will be imminent breakout whether it's going to be a upside or downside we will have to wait and see but i'm more biased toward the bulls on the upside just because i feel like the selling pressure has decreased and like you know the uh, the sellers are getting tired of um of selling <laughs> and that what it does is it removes the sellers out of the market and the remaining ones will be the buyers which creates that short squeeze and like this off like upward mo uh, momentum uh, and i'm seeing a lot of those in altcoins in bitcoin um, so i feel if there's enough push on the upward side you will see that bounce in the overall market with uh, within the next 24 to 48 hours all right and obviously um, ripple uh, will be uh, in it so uh, if it breaks this pink falling uh, trend line then on the upward side the first target that I'm looking at will be around 55 cents um, that will be the first one and then uh, the second one will be around 60 cents in ripple all right uh, so uh, keep those I'm gonna mark this so we are aware of those points all right so um, so just to recap um, right now ripple is in falling wedge pattern um, there will be some breakout in overall market within 24 to 48 hours um, a lot of the altcoins are seeing that they're coming up against that resistance line for that breakout um, so um, if there is enough you know push on the upward side um, there will be a breakout um, uh, in Bitcoin and in a lot of altcoins just because the selling pressure has decreased in last day or so and um, I, I, I have a feeling that there are more um, the sellers are whatever the weak hands that we had in the market are uh, are you know 
getting out of the market or um, not that active in selling right now okay um, on downward side for ripple we have 40 cents as a for, sorry 45 cents as one of the support levels and then we have uh, 40 cents as a second support level all right um, so that's pretty much it on ripple uh, the key event that is coming up for a month of April is uh, is, uh, is the listing of Ripple on Blockbit exchange. So uh, that's another exchange where you can trade Ripple. All right. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, any other altcoins you want me to cover. I wanted to keep this simple. Uh, it's been a while since we covered Ripple. Um, it's one of the good coins that I continue to hold. And... Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of potential in Ripple, uh, especially like, you know, they do tend to work with um, the, like, you know, uh, institutional banks. Um, so there is a lot of opportunities there and they do have a proven team. It's not, it's not a startup anymore. It's more of a, you know, mature project. Okay. So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I will talk to you soon and let me know if you want me to cover any other coins. Bye.